Living a Life of Victory with Nick Gass. Hello, my name is Nick Gass with Nick Gass Ministries. Let's live a life of victory. You know, today I want to I want to talk to you about winning in life. You know, because let's not settle for average. Let's let's learn how to overcome and to rise up and to and, and to live a life of victory. And so it's just like David. You know, David, he wasn't the, the strongest man. He wasn't the biggest man. He wasn't even the oldest man. And he had never even been to, been to battle before. But you know what? David had been spending time with the Lord. And he, he knew how to walk in victory in every area of his life. So just like David did by defeating a giant that tried to come against his life, you can defeat the giants in your life by spending time with God and spending time in God's Word. And so today, I'm going to ask you to get your pens, get your notepads, and always have your Bible with you. And if you don't have a Bible, get you one. And let's get started. But he didn't. Joseph, he just threw him into prison, and then what happened? He started sharing dreams with these prison guards, and then it got out to the first in command, and then all of a sudden he started, and then all of a sudden now Joseph becomes second in command again because he stayed the course. That's how he won in life. He stayed the course. He kept stepping forward. He kept walking forward. He kept stepping in faith. He didn't let the trials and the tribulations keep him down in life. He rolls back up. See, that's what if we're going to win in life, we got to be like Joseph. We got to rise up and become who God's called us to be. Because yeah, trials in, in this world's going to try to smash us down. This world's going to try to kick us hard. It's going to try to do things that uh, that that we don't even understand. But you know what we do? We rise right back up. We got to give it a hundred percent every day. Every day we got to make a choice to give 100% in everything that we do. Take that step of faith. When the trials come, when life gets hard, what do we do? We take that next step of faith and say, I, I, the, because greater is he that lives in us than he that lives in the world. The greatest victory uh, that overcometh the world lives in us. So we can rise up and walk in victory. And we can step in. You know, it's kind of like the same thing that happened with the horses of mine that got killed here the other day. I could have laid down, oh God, why did that happen? Why did you let that happen, Lord? God had nothing to do with it. I left the crack open and Satan went ahead and finished it off because he's the one that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you know what I did? I didn't lay that, I didn't lay back down. Yeah, it was it was heartbreaking. And there was a moment I wanted to go in that corner or I wanted to go find somebody just to just to beat up, just to get some get some anger out and some hurt. And yeah, there was some hurt and there was some pain. And then and then I just went to praying in the spirit and uh, turn turn my worship music on on the way back to Seymour that morning. And we we entered into the presence of the Lord, and I, I started walking in victory. Now I have victory that overcometh the world. Amen. Every one of you can have that victory. But we can't lay down. We got to rise up. We got to keep stepping forward. That's how we win in life. Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven through forty. This is in the Passion Translation. If we're gonna, if we're gonna uh, learn to win in life, God's got to be our first. Got to be first in our life. Matthew six thirty-three says, "Seek first the kingdom of God." and everything else will be added unto you. But Jesus answered him, Love the Lord your God with every passion of your heart, with all the energy of your being, with every thought that is within you. This is the great and supreme commandment. And the second is like, it is, it is just as important. You must love your friend the same way you love yourself. 
contained within these commandments to love you will find all the meaning of the law and the prophets. See, all this fall, falls in order. If we're going to be winners in life, God's got to be our first priority in life. See, if we're going to learn to love our family the way that God is expecting to love our family, then we got we got to love God first because if we're giving Him 100%, then we're going to be able to give 100% everywhere else in our life. Amen? You know, I heard a teaching one time. I'm not going to mention any any names because most of us know who, who he is. And I thought it was right for the longest time. I really did. I even taught on it. And and I really thought I, I thought it was right. But as I've been meditating on it, I know it's not. It's, that's really not right. Because he said, he said, we can't love God with all of our heart, our soul, and the mind because we've got to give part of our heart over to our family, part of our heart over here, part of our heart over, over there. So he said, it's, it's going to be hard to love God with all your... But see, God has given me this revelation of, of this scripture right here. See, if we're going to enter in in life and give 100% in our business, give 100% to our family, give 100% in every endeavor in our ministry, in every endeavor, that we've got to love our God with all of our heart, our soul, and our mind first. We got to give Him everything, and then He fulfills everything in us. The fullness of Him becomes becomes our life, and that's how that's how we learn who our identity is. Is in Him. If we want to learn to love ourselves, there's so many people out there that don't even love themselves. They don't have a self love. And that's not a self-help, that's a self-love. The Bible says we gotta, if we're going to love others, if we hate ourselves, we can't love other people because we have nothing to give them. But see, if we, but if we don't love God first, we'll never learn how to love ourselves. That's the reason we got to surrender, live a life of surrender to Him. Love God with all of our, all of our soul, all of our heart, all of our mind, and on and on and on. But I love this: what the Passion says: Love your God with every passion of your heart, with all the energy of your being, with every thought that is within you. And see, when there's an overflowing of Him in us then it's easy to love somebody else. It's easy to love ourselves. We can have that self-confidence. We can have that, that, uh, that, that love of, of God shed abroad in us, and we can wake up and look in the mirror every morning and say, man, Nick, you good-looking thing, you godly man, you. Man, Lee, you good-looking thing. You can rise up every morning and know who you are in Christ Jesus. Man, Bridget, you beautiful thing. See, we, if we'll speak to ourselves like that, because, see, we don't want to put ourselves down because we're created in His image. So why would you why would you rise up and say, you ugly thing, you, I can't believe God is doing anything with you. I'm just so ugly. And see, that there's no love there. And see, a lot of people think that, well, that that's just being too confident that's being caught no that ain't being confident that's being confidence in who we are in christ jesus when i can look in the mirror and say man you're a you're a god man you're going to do great things in this world today you're going to accomplish greatness in this life because of who you are in christ see that's how we need to speak see a lot uh or roberts caught of uh caught a lot of slack in his day when he was running around and and, uh, you know, those of you that don't know who Oral Roberts was, was a great healing evangelist. ORU is still going strong today, the college, the Bible college up there in, in Oklahoma. And But uh, Oral Roberts used to say, there's something good going to happen to you today. And he caught a lot of slack on that because people saying, you can't be running around say it, saying that. That was Christian people. But we should be expecting, if we're going to win in life, we should be expecting something good to happen to us today. See, Joseph woke up every morning, 
and he expected greatness and goodness to happen to him each and every day. And you see what happened. It didn't matter the trials and the tribulations and, and all that. He rose back up into victory, and we see where he become. He becomes second in command. Uh, he restored his family. Uh, I mean, just just a lot of greatness come out of it because he kept stepping in faith and kept stepping in knowing who he was in Christ Jesus. And he got the victory at the end. See, that's how that's how we we run a race in life. It ain't that we that we uh, win at everything we do every day, but we can be winners every day because our our attitude is going to determine how we're going to win every day in life. Because even if circumstances come come at us, we can determine what we're going to do through our attitude and how we think and our thoughts and, and what comes out of our mouth, out of the abundance of our heart, the mouth speaks. But you can give 100% every single day if you know who you are in Christ Jesus and you put God first, seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added unto you. Seek first the kingdom of God. You got to rise up every morning. Rick Rayner. He says, I don't even take a bite to eat in the morning. And he said, I will not eat anything. If I'm if I wake up a little bit late and I'm running late to my biz or to, to the ministry or whatever, he said, until I get that time to spend with the Lord, he said, nothing goes in. He said, because I'm not going to defile my body with sewage. Until I get the spirit of the living God in my in my body first and foremost. See, that's a that's a work in progress. We can all, if we're going to learn to win in life, that's something that we all can can try to meditate on. Take one step at a time. Not, you know, a lot of us ain't where Rick Rayner is in our faith and in our in our walk and in our journey. But you can do something every day. You can do something that's going to help you get to that victory place, to that place that you want to be in life. You can do something every day to change it. It's not a yearly process. It's a daily process. We got we to gotta do something daily. We, we got to win the battle daily if we're going to, if we're going to win in life. Amen? Here's a question. Why do you want to give 100%? Why would you want to give 100% in your daily life? Ask yourself this. This is my answer. Because other people's lives are at stake. And Jesus is always about other people. See, we want to give 100% because our family's lives are at stake. Other people's lives are at stake at our business. Other people's lives are at stake in the ministry. We want to give a we want to give a hundred percent. We want to spend time with the Lord. If, if God's calling you to speak to to thousands and thousands of people all over the world, you want to give a hundred percent. You want to meditate on His Word day and night, where that Word is getting in you, where you can give because what's not in you, you're not going to be able to give. You can only give what is in you. You watch days of our lives and and. Uh, and, and all of that on television every day, that's what's going to be in you, and that's what you're going to give the world. You listen to secular music, that's what's going to be in you, so that's what you're going to give the world. You're only going to be able to give what you're putting in you. This is the vessel. This is, this is the vessel, the temple of the Holy Spirit. We carry Him in here. So what we're putting in our bodies We're, we're feeding the Holy Spirit. That's the reason a lot of us as Christians aren't strong, aren't spiritually strong, because we're not putting, a, we're not putting our daily bread in, in here. We're putting all this other food and all this other garbage, and we're wondering why we're not, not being able to win in life. Because we're allowing other things to come in except the word, of, the word of the living God. This is called a daily bread. This ain't called once on Sundays and we're good. Because Satan's going to uh, chew you up and spit you out and stomp all over you. You'll be like the seven sons of Ascevia. 
That's right, the living word, the living bread. Jim Rohn said, Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom. I've kept this close to me for a long for a long time because when I first started listening to Jim Rohn, some of you may know who he is and some of you don't, but uh he he was a great communicator and very successful person, entrepreneur, very, very great speaker. Man, he was a very, very great speaker. I remember he, he was telling a story one time. He went and spoke to some executives, uh, oil, big oil executives, and he was speaking to them. And he was like, Mr. Rohn, what do you think this year is going to be like? He said, well, I hate to break the bad news to you. But he said, uh, this year is going to be the same as last year. He said, winter comes, then you got spring. Spring comes, then you got summer. Summer comes, then you got fall. He said, so yeah, this year is going to be the same as, as, as last year. You got the same seasons all year long. But see, just that great philosophy that he that he that he carried. I, I I love that because a lot of people are, you know, but we but we think about it and and it's yes we're we're different makers, but really we're the the seasons. That's what we enter into. That's a that's a reason we don't need to co- focus on so much what next year is going to be like. Because really, we don't have any control over what next year is going to be like. Just like when COVID come, no, no, you know, we we miss that deal. But let's focus on what we can do today. Because if we can win today, then Jesus. What did Jesus say? He said, "If you focus on today, tomorrow will take care of itself." Don't focus on yesterday. We can't even get that back. There's nothing we can grab a hold of ye- yesterday. Maybe learn from it. We don't want to do that stupidity mistake from yesterday. But that's the reason Paul says to keep moving forward because we're new creations in Christ Jesus. We ain't looking back in the past. So let's focus on what we can do right now. How can we make a difference in somebody's life right now? How can we change our lives right now? See, it's a daily process. That's how we win in life. It's a daily victory. And we keep getting them daily victories by the end of the week. You know, I had a horse trainer I worked for one time. He said, Nick, if you can get that horse at 1% every day, moving forward at 1% every day, he said, in 100 days, you'll have him at 100% trained. So see, it's a daily process. That horse, we, we try to go too fast with them, and we try to make them. If I start this colt today, and I try to make him into into what I want him to be, what he should be a year from now, but I'm trying to get all that in one day. What's going to happen? I'm going to blow him up, and I'm going to mess him up, and and I'm not going to accomplish anything. But if I accomplish one percent. But maybe let's, you know, I'm just ground ground starting him. Let's just get the saddle on him today. You know, I used to have a lot of people tell me, Nick, you need to get on them and get them loping. You know, them old timers, they want you to get them horses loping. I mean, as soon as you get on them, get them. No, I, I, when I step on them, Colts, I've, I've learned some different things. I've learned different strategies. It's easier on me and it's easier on the colt. If I can just get that colt the first time I ever step on him, Stepping out and just walking along, and he makes a few circles, and I'm able to turn him just a little bit, and he walks along. Man, pray it, praise God. That's a one percent better than what he was yesterday, because yesterday we just got the saddle on him. So you see what I'm saying? That's the same way in our life. Let it, let's work today on becoming one percent better. In a hundred days, we'll become a hundred percent better. If you're dealing with any kind of problems that you're wanting to overcome. 
whether it's alcohol, whether it's porn, whether it's whatever it is, drugs, smoking, overeating, whatever it is that you're that you're wanting victory over, start today with what you can do today. That's the reason most people lose out when they try to do diets. I'm serious. They start out New Year's resolution and and they try to do a diet and 30 days later they're already off of it or go to a workout program because they try to accomplish something in 10 days that might take them six months down the road. And if you'll just work at it every day, rise up every morning and say, you know what, I'm going to at least give 30 minutes to the gym today. I'm going to at least today, I'm going to walk in this victory today and and uh, I, I'm going to win today and I'm not going to stop at McDonald's or at Whataburger or whatever it is today. See, let's get our daily victory. Today, I'm not going to drink this beer. Today, I'm going to focus on the Lord. I'm not going to smoke this cigarette. Today, we're going to win today. And then if you fail, you know what? We got new mercies tomorrow, new graces tomorrow through God. See, that's how that's how we win. That's how we walk in victory. We fail if we rise up tomorrow and we have a bad day and, and we end up falling short of the glory of God. You know what? We have new mercies. Amen. We have new graces. But let's let's not keep let's not let that keep us down. You know what? I've I've I failed today. But you know what? I'm gonna go back home tonight and I'm gonna get in the word of the living God and I'm gonna have victory tomorrow. I am gonna have victory over this. I am gonna accomplish what God has called me to do over this tomorrow. I might have failed today, but tomorrow, Satan, you 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 have no authority in my life. See, let's do what we can do at this moment. And that's how we're gonna win in life. Whether we win or lose, we must still be willing to give 100%. You know, there was a young lady we was watching last night, the Austin, Austin Rodeo. And uh, there's a young lady, and she's winning the world right now. I, don't know, she's probably, I bet she's only like 18 years old or something like that, winning the world in a breakaway. Already won 89000 She won Rodeo Houston, which that paid 50000 and. And uh, just just a great accomplishment. But she didn't she didn't do that in one day. Her dad is a seven time world champion, Speed Williams team roper. Well, he's been working with her since she's a little bitty girl. I mean, this is something they've been working at for a lifetime for her. Well, last night, what what was amazing to me, she she's accomplished all this, and and she started to break out last night when she nodded her. Whole- Well, I want to thank you for tuning in with Nick Gass Ministries and River of Life Christian Center here today. And uh, man, what a a blessing it is to be able to to bring God's Word because it's God's Word that's going to transform your life. And and so I I just pray that God blesses you today and that uh, His Word continues to bring transformation in your your life. And and so... uh, If you're ever in the Bridgeport, Texas area, or anywhere here in Wise County, come come check us out here at River Life Christian Center Church, and uh, we'd love to have you. And uh, and and so as as we get ready to to close out, I want to give you this opportunity to uh, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord, I I I don't want to leave here today without you receiving Jesus as as your Lord. But you can continue to, uh, to tune in with us on uh, Cowboy Christian Network channel. And, and you can download that out. Or you can go on to YouTube and, and, and check out Nick Gas Ministries on YouTube. Or you can go on Facebook. And Sunday mornings, we're live on Facebook. But today, as you're watching, let's not leave here without receiving Jesus as Lord. Because Romans 10, 8, 9, and 10 says, if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. And man, what a glorious time that is when we invite Jesus into the presence of our life. And so whether you're driving down the road or in your household or wherever you're at, 
Let's stop what you're doing and let's, let's receive Jesus today. I want to give you that opportunity. Say, Father God, thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for me. Today, I want to invite you into my life. I want you to become my Lord. I want you to become my master. And thank you, Father, for your, for your salvation today. And so with that, since you've received Jesus as your Lord, He's not only your Savior, but He's your Deliverer, and He will set you free from all unrighteousness in your life. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Now that you've received Jesus as your Lord, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Man, glory to God that you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. That old way of living no longer is a part of your life because now you have a new life in Christ Jesus. Man, pray, praise the Lord. Give yourself a hand clap, and then give God a hand clap today. So we thank you for tuning in today, and we, we look forward to, to, to seeing you next week. God bless you. Hello, everybody. My name is Nick Gass with Nick Gass Ministries in River of Life Christian Center Church here in Bridgeport, Texas. Today, I want to give you this opportunity to partner in with us because we're reaching people all over the world in the community of Bridgeport and, and throughout the world. And so when you partner with us financially or even through prayers, you're, you're part of that, of, of helping reach people all over the world. And so we just want to give you that opportunity. And there's several different ways you can you can partner with us. You can go on riveroflifebridgeport.org and, and uh, hit the give page and go through Tidely and give that away. Or you can uh, send in a check at 2337 West U.S. Highway 380, Bridgeport, Texas, 76426. And there's other ways that you're going to be able to give before too long. We're working on other ways. But them are two, two ways that you can you can give into our ministry. And we just love for you to continue just to just to be praying for us as, as we're traveling around the world and as we're preaching the gospel and, and reaching people. So uh, we, we thank you today for partnering with us. And, and I just wanna let you know that we're praying for you. And if you need any kind of prayer, you can reach us on all these social media sites, Facebook, YouTube, Christian uh, Cowboy Network and uh, Nick Gas Ministries Facebook page, and would you, and, and there'll be a phone number on the screen, and we just love love to hear from you, and so we thank you for tuning in with us today, and God bless you.